Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This video is going to be on the 25-06. A lot of people say the 25-06 is the ultimate deer cartridge. Today we're going to take a little bit of a look at why people might say that. I disagree. I'd probably call it number two. I'm working on buying number one, but my wife says I've bought too many bing bangs. I need to wait till January. We'll see what happens with all that. This is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye. Fantastic 25-06. And today, we're gonna do two things. We are going to test this ammo. I just got some of this core locked, got lucky, found one box of it in the store. This is some 120 grain Remington core locked. If you're a deer hunter, you absolutely know what core locked is, probably killed some deer with it. But um, I personally have taken a deer with my seven millimeter 08 with the core locked ammo, so I know it takes deers. Actually, I'll put this footage in right here of me taking a whitetail with it. But there's no doubt in my mind that the core locked uh, takes deer. If y'all are deer hunters, you know that too. But today, there's two parts to this video. Not only do I want to see how this core lock stuff performs in my Ruger M77, I want to test the drop on the 25-06. So a lot of people say 25-06 is the ultimate deer cartridge because it has enough power for deer, but it's also flat, so you don't have to do a whole bunch of holdover and whatnot. So I'm gonna test and see how this ammo flings out of my Ruger 25-06 here. And then we're also gonna test the drop of these core locks, 25-06, 120 grainers. The back of the box actually says, I'll put a picture up here. If you zero it at 200, it only drops seven inches at 100 yards. Well, my rifle is zeroed at 100, so we're gonna see how much it drops at 200, and then I'll put together a drop chart using this ammo at the end of the video. But that's too much yapping already. I'm excited, I absolutely love this one and haven't had it out in quite a while. And I'm excited to see how this ammo performs for us. Uh, I'd like to take a deer with this rifle here, this rifle season, but let's load them up, fling them. I'm gonna uh, do a three shot group at 100, I'm going to fling one at 50 just to see where it hits and then I'm going to send some at 200 and then I'll show you the drop chart for this all the way out to 1,000. Let me say that too. I have a video with this rifle at 1,000 yards getting hits on steel that big. So if you're a 25-06 fan, go check out that 1,000-yard video with the 25-06. Uh, it'll do it all day long. But let's fling some boo lots here. Three-shot group at 100 yards first. All right, so like I said here first, I'm going to do a three-shot group at 100 yards with this core-locked ammo. This Ruger is a top loader, so no detachable mag. Three of those long 25-06 in there. I'll see what I can do at 100 yards and see how this core-locked ammo is going to group for us at 100 yards. Take my time here. Really nice trigger on this Ruger. That hit barely high and right. This stuff is sighted in with some other ammo, obviously. I've never tried this, but let's see where it groups, not touch the scope. That hit the, the bottom center. Now let's send a third one. If I remember, I'll measure that group at the end of the video. And that one hit a little bit right. So, I'd say out of this rifle, that's probably a hair over a one inch group. Probably about a one and a quarter inch group, maybe one and a half inch group. But Let's bring it back to 50 yards, just so we can see where it hits for, that way a deer pops up at 50. I know if I need to hold any different kind of way. And then I'll send some at 200. So the next shot, 50 yards. One of these days I'll stop being so cheap and actually get a, a target that shows the inches instead of paper plates. Let's send one at 50 yards, just to see where it hits. In case that white tail pops up at 50. Huh? 
about a dead center hit. So 50 yards, I'll just hold dead center. Now, uh, let me stretch it out to 200. Uh, for anybody who wants to know, the scope I got on here is 24, 24 zoomies. Some electrical tape on the side. Some of y'all OG viewers will know about that electrical tape, but 24 zoomies on here. Uh, all right, now I got the other camera on 200 yard target. I'm gonna load up three and hold the middle of the neck. You'll, you should see a target there. I'm gonna go ahead and send three at 200 yards. My guess is we're gonna see, with a 100 yard zero, my guess is we're gonna see about a three inch drop. But let's flank them, see what happens here. See the, the drop there? I'll send two more. We'll go grab those targets and I'll measure them. It looks to be sub MOA, um, which at 200 yards would be under a two inch group, but We'll measure it with the tape. Next, let me show you the bullet drop chart all the way out to a thousand yards, and then we'll review these targets here. Check it out. All right, so here is a quick drop chart for the 25-06 I told you I was gonna put together. You can see the BC ballistic coefficient on these core locks is a 0.362 on the G1 scale, 120 grain boulot weight and an initial muzzle velocity of just a hair under 3,000 feet per second. But like the chart says, I've got mine zeroed at 100 yards. And then this chart says at 200 yards, we should see a 3.2 inch drop, which I think is pretty much exactly what we saw in the real life scenario out there. So pretty cool. At 300 yards, it's only dropping a foot, 12 inches. 400 yards, just over two feet. So at 400 yards, that's pretty impressive. Only a 27 inch drop when zeroed at 100 yards. And then you can see all the way down to 1,000 yards with this core lock stuff, we're dialing almost 11 mils, which quite honestly is not too shabby for a lead nose hunting round. But you can see those next columns there, the MOA and the mils columns. That's how much you're going to have to dial on your scope if you have an MOA scope or a mill scope. So just for reference, look at the 500 yard uh, row there. At 500 yards, this core lock 25.6 is dropping 51 inches. You would have to dial your MOA scope to 10 or your mill scope to almost three. And there you have it. There's your boo lot drop chart. All the way out to a thousand yards. Pretty impressive numbers, especially for some lead nose hunting rounds. All right, guys, a bunch of people showed up to the range out there at the public range, so I brought you back to the house to kind of review our results, what we got. So, at a hundred yards, I flung three boo lots. And again, this is that core locked 25 out 620 grain stuff. I flung three boo lots at a hundred yards. And I think this is going to be right at an inch and a half. I don't know if I can show you guys here, but I'll try. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much dead on an inch and a half group there. Um, definitely good enough to take a whitetail at 100 yards. Interestingly enough, at 50 yards, we hit the bullseye. And that is without changing the scope. So, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, if your rifle sighted in at 100 yards you can go ahead and pretty much hold the same spot for 50 yards on a deer. That will work fantastic. But what about at 200 yards? Let me move this out of the way and show you how we did at 200. At 200 yards, uh, I was impressed. Here is our target. Make sure you guys can see this. So at 200 yards, I was holding here. Let me get my marker here. Our average, as far as uh, drop, is probably about, well, let's just do the center of the group. 
is probably about right there and the drop will be right there so 25 out 6 is a pretty uh, flat shooting round in the grand scheme of things let's measure the drop there right at might be three and a sixteenth so we'll call it three inch drop uh, also I I'm, I'm got the tape out here I might as well measure the group we had a one and a half inch group at 100 yards normally when you stretch it out your groups get worse uh, with this one let me put it down flat here make sure we're measuring it good uh, this actually got a two inch group at 200 yards which is sub in my way which is uh, fantastic for a lead nose deer hunting round if I can show you that the two inch group there at 200 yards so <clears throat> definitely good uh, if you're getting two inch groups at 200 yards 100% uh, within the I'll call awesome range sometimes uh, you get some ammo that your rifle just flat out doesn't like and you can't get under two inches at 200 yards but again this is my ruger m77 hawkeye and out there at the range we flung these 120 grain uh core locks first time i ever tried these core locks in 25 up six 25 up six um they're not a whole lot of uh commercially available boo lots uh, that have a high bc um, most of the 25 out 6 you find on the shelf is just like this core lock stuff, lead nose hunting rounds. Not stuff that people are trying to shoot deer at 800, 900 yards, but mostly um, 100 yards, 200 yards. But with that group at 200, I'd be confident in stretching it even further on a deer uh, once we do the math here on the drop. But that's a bunch of rambling. Can you tell I love 25 out 6? Appreciate you guys watching. I absolutely had a blast getting out my 25 out 6. I know I say it in a lot of videos, but this one is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, if I could only keep three bolt actions, this one would definitely be in that group of three. Uh, without a doubt, 100%. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to take a whitetail uh, with my 25 out 6 this year uh, if everything comes together. And I think we'll probably load it with that core locked. That did good. Um, out to 200, I'm confident with it. Um, maybe we can stretch it out even further in another video. But I could talk about the 25 out 6 all day. Is the 25 out 6 the ultimate deer cartridge? My opinion, no. Is it way up there at the top, though? Absolutely, yes. I 100% love the 25 out 6. Uh, it is a great, fantastic deer cartridge. I love the ballistics on it. It's flat. I've got a video with this rifle shooting it at a thousand yards. Um, but appreciate y'all watching. I could ramble on to your ears all day about the 25 out 6. I absolutely love it, especially this Ruger M77 Hawk guy. But comment down below. What do you think about the 25 out 6? What do you think is better than the 25 out 6? Um, like I said, I'm trying to get the number one ultimate cartridge. Uh, rifle uh, It's in the plans. We'll see what happens. Maybe my wife will let me buy it in January. Anyways uh, Love 25 out 6 like I said, I could ramble on about it all day. I already have for this video Appreciate y'all watching. We will see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you think about 25 out 6 Let me know what you think about that core locked ammo. But appreciate y'all big time. We'll see y'all on the next one Load it up and get all the zoomies you can